bright and early, heading over to Marshall's to get our hardware for the Killer Bee expansion tank. Um, then we can proceed. I looked under my car last night and it is leaking oil from the drain plug. So um, I think I'm gonna get an OEM crush washer and replace the one that came on the Gretty one because all the guys that reflected said you just use the the washer that came with the Gretty one and it's like a reusable crush washer, but it's leaking. So I think I'm gonna put a OEM one on and see what happens. And if it's still leaking, I might have like a crack in my oil pan or it's dented enough so the, the plug isn't seating right. I don't know, but we'll figure it out today. All right, guys, time to hopefully see if these fittings work. I, I tried to follow steps really carefully when it came to the MPT sizes and everything. So once it, once we get it on, we'll see. I'll, I'll test all the fitment of the hoses and stuff beforehand, I believe, but we'll see. Let's get this one off though. So if you guys were curious, my best method of drawing the coolant out of these old ones, pretty simple. I just have an old baster and I just have a dedicated jug just for coolant, so. I think I've, I've used this probably 15 times now and it's real easy. If you guys hear my dog yelping, it's because she has abandonment issues. I'm just kidding. She's just a baby and she's loud. Sorry. There she is. I love her though. She's a sweetheart. I'm sure everybody knows this trick, but if you got a hose that just um, isn't coming off and you yank on it, you know, because it's been on there for a good deal of time, I just take some square channels or any sort of pliers really and you just twist it loose. It's super simple. Here's the old uh, Mishimoto expansion. You can see right there is where the welds cracked. I'll clean it up and see if we can get a better view of it. Um, but let's see how well these fittings will work on the Killer Bee. So it looks like the two bigger fittings for the turbo feed line and the, the lower uh, line are gonna be good, but these little fittings that I got for the uppers, they're still gonna be good. They're just a little loose, like, oh my gosh, my phone sucks at focusing. They're gonna, they're gonna work, I'll clamp them, but I wish they were real snug on the barbs, but we'll see. Make sure you Teflon these guys real good because liquid's a little, different of a story than air. Okay guys, all the fittings are cranked and thread sealed. They don't have to be extremely tight because we already sealed the threads, but I did tighten them pretty good. And we'll go ahead and throw this bad boy on. So guys, this fitting, when it's in and the expansion tank is pushed back where it's supposed to be, it's just kinking this line. So I trimmed it a little. I might have to trim the line as well to reduce the length so it doesn't um, crimp and like you know shut off flow and we'll see we'll see what i can come up with all right guys this is taking me too long but i kind of came to the conclusion that these uh bumps on the wrx manifold are actually lower than the sti ones i believe because i was watching smedia install this same one and they're they're way more raised up so i made some spacers i think this is like some composite junk and i just cut it to size and i'm gonna put it underneath these longer 12 mils that are actually allen so that's kind of cool um, and that should space this up enough. And I put a whole new hose on that I had that had more of a, an aggressive angle so it wouldn't kink because regardless, it was kinking. So with the new hose and the spacers, it should um, keep the hose as straight as I need it, I guess. Okay, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, like I said, these ones are a little loose, but I'll clamp them with a nice clamp, of course. This one is working out pretty solid. It's not kinked or anything. At least not that I can see. It fits solid. Um, but the OEM turbo feed line did not reach. Let's see, where's it at? It's right here. This guy. It's got that weird shape because it fits. It's meant for the, um, let's see. What the, how the heck does this work? I don't know, it's got that weird shape because it's meant for the OEM one, but 
with this one, you know, it kind of extends it forward. And I had to, I had to use some different line for the coolant feed to the turbo. Not a huge deal, but if you don't want to do that, don't get this expansion tank. If you don't want to go buy custom fitting or not custom fittings, but um, separate fittings, don't buy this expansion tank. If you don't want to have to build some weird spacers because you have a WRX manifold, don't buy this expansion tank. Basically, this thing has kind of been an inconvenience so far. So hopefully it wins me over when it's fully installed. <laughs> well, at least it looks sick, but it sucks to install when you have a WRX, so. Uh. We're just running over to Reflected Image to grab a new crush washer, an OEM crush washer. I'm gonna do, this is so risky and annoying, but I'm gonna drain all the oil um, and inspect for any damage on the oil pan, any surface damage, and then I'm gonna put the, the Gretti Trust drain plug back in with, the, with an OEM crush washer only. I'm just annoyed because if I have to drain it again, then I'm draining fresh oil, like super fresh, and I'll probably just run to the auto parts store and get a brand new, like, oil pan on the ground, like for the ground, so that I can reuse the oil because that'd be dumb if I didn't. Um, but hopefully, hopefully just getting an OEM crush washer on there solves the problem because it was leaking a lot last night. There was a pretty, pretty substantial puddle underneath my car in the morning, so let's get it figured out. Just got back from Reflected. We got the 5W40 from Motul and my oil filter and crush washer. We're gonna do a full oil change, but before we fill it back up with fluid, we are going to uh, examine the uh, drain pan on the car and make sure there's no cracks or broken threads or anything like that. Or maybe if the, if there's a dent and it's not seating properly, we'll know. I just changed the oil in the filter and I put an OEM crush washer on the ready truss oil plug, drain plug. So I'm gonna top this bad boy off, fill her up and um, start her up and see if she's still leaking, I guess. We're just letting it warm up, see if it starts to overheat or anything. I, I haven't burped it and I put that expansion tank on, which I know you're supposed to, but I did it the first time, I didn't have to burp it. Um, I did recently install this Radium AOS, as you guys know. And when I rev it, I, I'm shooting some oil out of my freaking HKS blowout valve. It's insane. I still have just have an immense amount of blow by, blow by, I guess, which is just highly unfortunate. So I might need to look into getting some catch cans or something instead because blow by in the hot heat is not good at all because it gets real hot here in, in Utah in the summer and I could risk um, like um, knocking fuel knock in, in the hot heat. So hopefully we can get that figured out. All right guys, so I pulled onto the grass cause I didn't see any oil leaking. I was like, cool, I'm gonna wash the car then we can move on with other cool things. And right as I back up, there is a little bit of oil, but it looked a little old. So I was thinking, oh, you know, that's probably from when I just drained it. Cause it looked pretty dirty and dark. But while I was on the grass, I went under there and felt around on the drain plug. And when I came out, I had oil on my fingers. So it is leaking still, which means I probably need a new oil pan. Um, and yeah, well, I guess we'll go from there. That'll be fun, a fun video. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.